welcome back guys to another episode of uh, Can It Drive. Alright, finally I give it a name. Uh, yes, we are doing another episode, another chassis. But like I said guys, um, I just wanted to give you guys the feedback uh, before I proceed further. I just want to give you guys the feedback if it's uh, a worth buy or not. For me, the Zack X for the previous video, it was really fun. The, the design chassis was a little bit different. Uh, still, the knuckle could be better. The design of it could be a little bit better. But now, today, we got a different, different uh, chassis. This chassis is... I don't need to actually do anything to it. But I actually have to add some parts to it, like the dampers. Because this chassis I actually bought secondhand. If you guys want to buy brand new, it's a cost, I think, approximately 1800 uh, And this brand is also from Japan. So, get very excited. An unboxing of this, okay? We're gonna go into an unboxing of this. Let me just quickly... Oh. Okay, I think you guys could be very excited. Okay, I think you guys get a glimpse out of it really. Uh, what actually this box is about. So, we finally got ourselves another kit. And this is actually second hand. If you guys want to buy it brand new, it's approximately 1008. Just the chassis itself. I think this one comes with the body shell and the gyro and the wheels so this is the overdose glam it's a big box big boy very very big boy all right so we're gonna unbox this right now it's ooh, it has some hefty towards it <sighs> don't get scammed by ebay dude mm. 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 Okay, we got some bubble wrap so we can keep. Oh wow. So this is the overdose uh, glam. Uh, the glam chassis. So I'm very excited on this. Okay, we will go into this in a minute. They give you some instruction manuals as well. Huge step up. Uh, much more easier to understand, much more bigger pictures. Uh, now, so much bigger. Still, some screws are a little bit difficult to understand, but so much clearer instruction, so much easier. Like, they will tell you like, okay, you have to install like that, it'll be like this, then this is the knuckle, how you're gonna install, and then how you're gonna put it all together. Really, really cool. Then you got your body, and yeah, it's very, very cool. Yeah, excited. So this is actually the hop-up pass that you can actually purchase. Uh, the slide rack, the knuckle, the lower arm. Wow, really cool. And the HD shocks. HD shocks we do have. Hmm, this one is actually already upgraded to this. And then, yeah, very cool. This is the overdose plastic one. Okay. That he never use. The parts that he don't use it the original part huh? yeah i think because he actually hop hop up before and give a tire so let's put that to the side let's put in the chassis uh okay we can see there is a couple of things that he actually hopped up like this gear this gear ratio and then the front uh, I don't know what you guys call this the the head for the uh, for the HG conversion not HG this is actually the front head for the HG shocks he upgraded this aluminium I don't see the other things that they actually upgrade so um, steering increment wise can be better we haven't tried if we put on a uh, what they call a knuckle that is refty knuckle. We haven't tried that. Hopefully, if we can try that, and then we'll see if there's any good difference. Knuckle is all in. Okay, why is there a fly? Shoo shoo. And then he put in some gold screws. I think he really liked gold. That's cool. And um, the rear 
is also gold. Sadly, we don't want the gold. We want the Ref Drift Arena screws. But um, this kit is basically just for you guys to understand what you guys are buying. So it's a very cool kit. Very, very cool. And electronics, we have the servo ready. We have the gyro ready. We have the ESC mounts. I don't see any ESC mount here. Uh, I'll figure out. Maybe we put one ESC mount in the back. And then we got one moto here. So that's pretty cool. I don't see any substantial changes or upgrades. Only I just see this. Hmm. And this. Maybe this. And that's all. So, very cool. Very excited uh, to bring this car to the track. But the first thing is what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the HG shocks. HG shocks is gonna be in here. We can also put the HG shocks here as well. So that's pretty cool. And I think overall, overall it's a very decent, decent chassis um, at a price of 1,800. Uh, what you pay is what you get like this uh, For the price range the flex. Okay, there's some flex not too much, but there is pretty cool still very good um, But we, we haven't seen how it performs. So we are going to go to the track tomorrow To see how it's gonna perform if this kit it's worth your money because this kit is basically almost all stock That's why I bought it secondhand. I didn't want to buy a new one is because this is actually all stock mostly mostly of it is stock so we just have to put on the hg shocks and we are done and we put on electronics and we can start drifting it's going to be so simple super easy hmm. and uh, hopefully that this chassis you know will be better than the yokomo one i'm not saying yokomo is bad but it's seven out of ten but hopefully this one we don't know where we're going to rate this but uh boxing like i said the boxing it's really insane it's huge there is a smaller package one but this one is like a big one comes with a body shell and everything but we didn't have the body shell so it's okay so it's yeah it's smooth it's smooth pretty good pretty good so i'm excited all right guys so as usual we're gonna do a presentation box out of wise i give it with that the aesthetic looks because they give a chassis like this right Give me a second. Okay, for box wise, from the outside, it looks very, very cool. Um, aesthetic wise, with the car like this and the chassis like this, I give it 100%. This is not being biased, a 9 out of 10. A very superb, very nice box um, to show people that the chassis. Uh, that's the main, con the, the main attraction. If the box is like super small, and where you like only can show one small part of the chassis it's not cool you want the whole thing you know and it has a very cool design at the sides and everything if we can make the box 10 out of 10 is the packaging of the box and the design on the box maybe a background that looks a little bit cooler with the chassis that's something that i like that's something is my opinion for the box itself i give it really honestly it's a 9 out of 10. i i, I like the box the box is cool awesome and if you don't want some certain parts, you can keep it in. You want to keep body shell in, you can keep it in. Huge, huge and awesome, really awesome. So I like that. That's very, very cool. Uh, for the build wise, okay, I built one of this before. I will just tell you guys, honestly, uh, build quality on the Overdose Glam. It's probably, I'll give it a uh, 7 out of 10. Uh, it's not difficult. The plastic quality wise, it's slightly higher than Yokomo. Slightly. Just a little bit. Uh, because the quality plastic they use is a high grade quality. So it's a very cool uh, plastic quality grade. Um, for the carbon chassis, um, I give it everything. It's 7 out of 10. Everything. Everything included. So it's a very, very cool uh, way. Uh, for instructions, it's very, very simple. But sometimes it's a little bit confusing on the screw parts. Like last time I said in my old video, 
they the screw itself we don't know which one is which if you're not an experienced builder um, I think they can actually improve in that by putting the screws with some numbers and which accordingly to uh, which code is for that screw and that's pretty cool um, that is my concern uh, for overall instruction manual it's clear it's easy to set up but at the same time if you are like a beginner I, I, I definitely think that is a little bit minor confusion there uh, but I still give it uh, instruction and the packaging I seen how overdose packaging before not this secondhand box but a new packaging uh, I do give it including the sleeve everything they sleeve up everything actually they do sleeve up everything uh, I give it a 5 out of 10 uh, including the instruction the instruction itself I give it as well a 5 out of 10 uh, it's not the problem of the understanding of the chassis but the problem comes from how you deal with the screws and which size is which because not all beginners knows that and some people doesn't actually know about it so it's a little bit difficult uh, based on my experience and based on what I've seen if you want to buy just the chassis itself without the body shell and without the rims it comes at 1800 and this is what you get uh, excluding the aluminium this and this what they call the, the gear itself it's excluding so uh, I bought this kit uh, is to show you guys the performance of if you're interested to buy an overdose kit and if you guys want to buy an overdose kit uh, we want to see the performance as well how the, the, the car perform and of course at the same time we want to see hopefully a better improvement than Yokomo did uh, we don't know if this car will be fully 100% performance because we haven't tried it yet the old gown I actually sold it uh, I didn't manage to play with it because there is so many technical things that I have to set up and it's out of the box and that time I, I, I got nobody's help and I decided like you know what I played it it was unplayable and I didn't know how to set it because like I said even it was a little bit uh, disturbing for me to not understand the theory and mechanics of it but for now I start learning a lot of things and years come by and now I'm ready to set this up and I'm ready to bring it to the track tomorrow to test it out and give you guys my verdict is it a worth buy and everything including my conclusion and uh, performance as well so stay tuned for that now we're gonna go in to the time-lapse uh, not actually the time-lapse now we're going to go into a montage where we are actually installing the HG shocks and the electronics so we can tomorrow just go to the track and slap on uh, our electronics and just play and see if it performs. So 1800 is it worth it? Stay tuned and make sure if you guys are brand new don't forget to click the subscribe button and your, turn on your notification post so you won't miss uh, videos like this and of course like this video if you found this video is quite helpful and I'm very excited seriously I'm super duper excited uh, to uh, create this brand new series for you guys um, of course the Rev D series is gonna come up soon uh, this is the chassis that I'm currently building uh, it's almost done I only have I only need the um, front HG conversion and basically all the electronics is already ready I had the bumper already ready I had everything ready with the dampers everything ready I'm just waiting for the HD conversion and I made a video out of this as well because I want you guys to know that once you guys build this how much it's gonna cost uh, the tow blocks everything is already included is at the side there if you guys want to see it's actually at the side right here uh, if you guys can see that it's right here this kit is definitely a personal kit of mine uh, I'm definitely gonna make it very very serious and I'm gonna build it very very seriously because I want this uh, actually to uh, work and I will build it as how a normal stock build it is and I can assure you how many times I say this RevD kits always perform so I, I had no surprise there um, so out of topic let's go into the montage of installing this and I'm very excited let's get into it uh, I'm gonna go fight I'm going to go find my HG shocks right now
All right, guys. So as you guys seen, the montage is finally done. We keep we put in the electronics except for the ESC because the ESC has already been soldered to literally very small movements of gap. Uh, we will be redoing the soldering tomorrow, and I will show you on the video as well to connect it to the moto. That is the cabling that we have to tie up a little bit here, and then. The ESC, we cannot put it at the back. That's one of the issue. Uh, we only can put it into the mid because we don't have the rear ESC mount. Overall, the weight is it's heavy. Uh, guys, no joking, it's really heavy. Uh, it could, due to, because of the battery, is a thicker battery that they use. Uh, and the design is for the thicker battery. I think they do come up with a thinner battery, but we are not going to upgrade this. We're going to make sure it's stock and if you guys are interested in it, in the end of the video, we're going to sell it at Ref Drift Arena. We're definitely going to sell this kit away uh, for up, uh, excluding the electronics. Because the electronics, we're going to take it back and we're going to try it on on a different, uh, on a different uh, chassis. So that's a very important part. Uh, hopefully, we're going to try on a different chassis. Overall, uh, taking it out and putting on the dampers is not difficult. The mechanism of it, it's slightly old school uh, it's not as very advanced as how Refty is uh, even Yokomo actually you know make the back able to come out with the gearbox uh, I hope I think they do this mechanism they do by removing this and then you can actually take it out but uh, I'm not saying that the mechanism is old I'm just saying that maybe this is the first generation chassis it's not um, what you guys expected but I'm very excited to Bring this to the track tomorrow and test it out at Ref Drift Arena and we're going to see the progress of the uh, performance all right springs uh, i might change tomorrow because this one is slightly soft so we want to change a little bit harder because it's very heavy at the back and this springs at the back in front it's okay so i don't think there's a big issue there using uh, hg shocks so anyways i'll see you guys for tomorrow and i'm going to bed my bed is actually waiting for me it's 12 o'clock i'm going to sleep i'll see you guys for tomorrow day peace the next day welcome back it's the following next day and now we're actually currently heading to the shop tiring today um i just woke up honestly i just freaking woke up and um uh, i edited the first part of the video yesterday and that's why i woke up late it's currently at what? I think three. Let's go to the shop. Let's quickly go to the shop. All right, guys, we are finally in Rev Drift Arena. We got Tommy. Ah, Tommy. Okay. We got Watson right here. Hello. <laughs> this is the overdose lamp. I need to borrow some people's wheels and tires there. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna test it out to see if this thing works. But the first thing what we have to do is we have to resolder this because this is way too short right now. I think there's a lot of things that's going on now these days, so we have to resolder, we have to find the wires and everything like that. Okay guys, cool. I'll see you guys for the next video then. Can't be afraid to leave this out.
is completed guys uh, wiring wise we redone the wire it's not the ideal position where I actually want to put the ESC at um, I don't like it uh, the other ways that we can go is for the rear ESC mount that you get much more traction in the rear springs we change it a little bit slightly harder a bit uh, still there's some fine quick adjustment and then ESC we did touch uh, stop stop uh, servo and gyro we already fine tuned it to the extent where we can maximize our steering angle so uh, now we're going to test it out it's front we changed the hex to 8 so it actually won't touch the the what they call when you turn this it will never touch the uh, wheels okay uh, there is better upgrade for this there's a lot of tweaks that we can do uh, one thing one of the tweaks is you can actually change the knuckle uh, I will try that in the future I don't know if it's going to work or not but that will be in the future uh, but like I said this is a stock build we are going to do a stock run okay so we're going to turn on the remote we've already calibrated everything everything is already done make sure nothing is you know everything is okay look so it's perfect right here all right guys so stock settings we are ready to test it out Let's see how this car performs out of the box. So we just came back and this is my verdict, okay, on the overdose gland. Alright, the first thing I want to say this is, um, this chassis is drivable, okay, 7.5 out of 10, uh, the performance wise. Uh, is it a, a huge deal if after you upgrade? Uh, some may say yes, some may say no, but we are talking about out of the box, 7.5 out of 10. It's a very good number. Is it competitive? Um, I don't know. Uh, there is performance in overdose, but it's just... If you said fully performance, I still prefer Refty in the end of the day. Um, I haven't seen a chassis that would be better than Refty. It's very hard for me to say that. It's because I don't want to be biased as well. But I've been testing so many and I see so many, even me not going to the competition and not performing on that day, the champion will still be refty. On everything, we're going to talk about the box, the instruction manual, the build, and the performance wise, um, the quality of the build as well. Is it difficult or not? Everything like that. For box, we give it a 9 out of 10. Insanely, I wish that even they want to make the chassis on the box look smaller with a design, it will look so cool. That's why I always found that Refty uh, box is so cool because the packaging wise and also the, the background looks really, really cool. So box wise, I give it a nine out of 10. Uh, very cool because it's big size and everything like that. Instruction manual, uh, packaging, I know how to package it very well as well. It's five out of 10. Instruction manual is also 5 out of 10. Uh, in terms of build quality, um, it's approximately, if based on my experience and what I've built, uh, it's approximately 6 out of 10. Uh, but now we talk about performance wise, it's 7.5 out of 10. 
The reason why it's not an 8 is because there's some tweaks that we still have to be done and there's some things that I felt that out of the box playing like that is cool. I like it. But in terms of it could be better. It could be better. I wish it could be better. But 7.5 is still a little bit higher. It's so much easier to carry this car than using the Yokomo YD2 ZX. I don't know why. I don't know why, guys. It's it's stated even in the video. You guys can see in the video, it's just stated there. This, okay, let's include the servo, gyro, uh, motor, and the ESC. All right. For the gyro and the servo and the motor itself is approximately 1,004. Plus the ESC is 600, so it's around 2,000. Just say it for electronics itself. So it's totally 3,800, guys. It's still cheaper than what you pay for because Yokomo chassis is everything you will get here is plastic, not like this and this. But you will get a carbon deck, everything. Uh, quality for everything itself it looks very clean and well 1008 is slightly cheaper than yokomo would i recommend this to a beginner if you want to ball and show people that you upgrade all the parts sure why not but if you just want to play for fun would i recommend this kit there is a yes and there's a no because due to the price that you have to upgrade the knuckle and the parts of it is very expensive so there's still a yes and a no but if you just want to play for fun yes i would recommend this if you just want to play for fun without any upgrades and you just want to learn how to drift yes i will recommend this kit 100 uh, percent uh, 7.5 out of 10 i think it's a very winnable uh chassis here today uh anything that reach a seven mark above i would recommend um in terms of practicality wise, changing the battery, everything like that, it's easy. Uh, recommended ESC, I don't like to put it in the middle. This one thing that I, I, I hated to put it in the middle, I realized if we put it at the back, it's so much cleaner and nicer. And the traction for the rear, it's a little bit more stable. Um, overall, I'm pretty, pretty surprised. I gave myself a benefit of the doubt that this chassis uh, maybe could not, but it surprised me and it drift better a little bit a little bit easier than the yokomo this time i don't know why uh, i'm not bashing on yokomo i'm not bashing on overdose i just don't know why but i felt it's very very cool uh yeah i'm very very happy with the outcome today so if you guys are brand new don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on your notification post so you won't miss videos like this and if you felt like this video is helpful, make sure to leave a like and share it with your friends so we can continue doing more. Comment down in the section below what chassis do you want me to do next. Uh, I will be happy to do any chassis, any brand. Let me know in the section below. We have already done Yokomo. We have already done Overdose. Hopefully, the next we will be able to complete this as soon as possible. Uh, I've already done some part of the video for it. Uh, for the Refty chassis. So I think Refty chassis is a no-brainer. I love, love, love Refty, but I want to be unbiased and I want to show you guys what is the plus and the minus of everything. But for me, it's always a plus with Refty because the packaging is awesome, the box is awesome, everything is awesome. Love it, simple, easy, and everything is just cool. But overall, I'm very, very happy with the Overdose kit here. It's such a playable kit. I never expect that and I felt regretful in my past videos that nobody helped me and I was lack of experience on building the kit but now finally um, out of the box we we fine-tune it a little bit and you know we put in the battery and the ESC and everything like that and we just play it on the track it works it works it's 100% work with the right camber with the right caster and everything like that very very cool very very cool um, very very cool chassis so I'm looking forward for in the future chassis that what we can do let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are interested in this kind of videos alright if you guys like the montage as well instead of a time lapse let me know in the comments as well anyways I'm gonna sign off I'm gonna go shower I'm full of like bacteria from the outside I'm gonna go do my COVID test as well 
it's so scary this day so I'm just gonna go quickly get shower and go get my dinner and edit this video so you guys can see this video tomorrow basically yeah tomorrow I'll see you guys there for another video peace hey,